My name is Wolfgang Puck, and we are here at Merouin, our newest restaurant at the Pendry Hotel, right on Sunset Boulevard, where it all started for us. Well, you know, when we started Miyawa, I said we're going to have some Japanese influences. So naturally, people in LA and now everywhere love sushi, love sashimi. But we also have a lot of vegetarians. So I said, why not make a really great sushi with all different vegetables, mushrooms, etc. And it has become really popular. You know, we praise shiitake mushroom really slow. They have a really great glaze, so they taste really meaty. We grill some of the vegetables, we roast some of the vegetables. So the most important thing is to give them good flavor. When I came to Los Angeles, I said, where is the produce here? California is like the best place. It's always sunny, the weather is great. He reminded me of Provence. And then a friend of mine brought me some vegetables. They came to the restaurant for dinner, brought me some vegetables. They lived in San Diego from the Chino farm. And I looked at them, I said, where the hell did you get these vegetables? Who? farms like that who grows vegetables like that so and then they told me so I went to visit them down in San Diego in La Jolla and they took me over to the Chino farm and we started to talk and I felt right away at home it felt like I'm back in Austria or in Provence where at Beaumanier for example we had six gardeners bringing us vegetables where I grew up we had a huge vegetable garden. In winter, there was that much snow, there was no vegetables. We ate a lot of rice and noodles. In the summer, we had salads and vegetables and great vegetable soups and so forth. So when I went the first time to the Chino farm, I said, this is unbelievable. I tasted, I don't know how many varieties of tomatoes. I tasted, I tasted all these different strawberries, and the first time in my life I saw Mara de Bois strawberries since I left uh, uh, South of France. So to me, it was a great revelation. And then walking the fields, seeing the white corn, r ripping it off the, the trunk and eating it, and I said, oh my God, this is the most amazing corn. So I used to bring that all to Spargo when we opened Spargo. And people were so surprised. They said, how does it taste so good? I remember people like Johnny Carlson and uh, Sidney Poitier and some of the people used to come and say, the food tastes so good here. Well, I said, we don't do much to it. You know, the food, the vegetables or whatever we use, the fruits we use are right from the farm. They were picked in the morning and uh, we served them at night. The first thing is you have to make the guests feel good, make them feel right. The second thing is you have to make the food taste delicious. If you make a, if you make a risotto with mushrooms, and you prepare them right. You roast the mushrooms and then you puree them and then you fold them into your rice. It will have a lot of flavor. So I think it's all about preparations. And sometimes people make these vegetable plates, you know, it looked like right out of a steam table. And that's what is the big problem is in hotels throughout the country, maybe throughout the world, you know, when they do banquets, when they do the, uh, parties, everything is steam table food. That's why we try always to use as much as possible local ingredients. When I was at Cut in New York the other day, the first thing I said, let's go to the Union Square Market and see what they have. And I think for me that was good because I see what is available in New York. Maybe some different things. Maybe things are blooming later up there or getting ripe later up in New York than here in California where the weather is really much warmer. Every chef out there should support the local farmers. You know, a lot of this farm's land was bought off by these big uh, companies and, you know, they became factory farms. And it's a lifestyle. If you are on a farm and you grow things and you're proud of what you do. So for us chefs, it's the most important thing is to support them. When I started with the Chino Farm, their white corn, for example, was so delicious. So I didn't care about the price. I went to the supermarket one Sunday for, uh, to eat at home, and I say white corn, it was twice as expensive at Chino Farm than in the supermarket. But the quality, there was no comparison. So I think we have to pay the price, because if you are a small farmer, it is really difficult to make a good living, a decent living, you know? So I think if we have to 
pay the price. Instead of paying the money to somebody who sits in a high-rise building in an office and just pushes paper and says, okay, a truck full of zucchini here, a truck full of carrots over there, go to and help your local farmers. I think it's a very important of our society, of our fabric of living well. Yeah.